it's Vaughn and welcome back to Dishonored, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we ended the Lord Regent by causing him to confess all of his crimes on audio log, which I still don't understand. Let me talk about all the horrible things I've done, let me record it, and let me put it in the safe. That's a smart thing to do, especially when a really well-qualified assassin is running around. Hello, Emily. Um, okay. Celebrate with the loyalists in the bar, right? So we've returned to the Hound Pits, and everyone is celebrating. He's done it. Word is spreading all over the city. The tyranny is over. By this time tomorrow, Emily will be on the throne. After that, we'll clear your name and put everything we've got into rebuilding the city. I wish there were more of a city to rule. Most of Dunwall is rats and corpses. The Admiral's right, I'm afraid. Corvo, you did your job while the rest of us sat on our asses. Our work starts tomorrow. Tonight, rest easy. Tomorrow, we crown an empress. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Why do I have a feeling this isn't the happy ending we want? She'll need higher mathematics, court protocol, and cosmology, of course. Do you provide these things? Of course not, no. I just think I should have a central role. We're leaving she tomorrow, aren't we? It's true, she does. I don't know if I want to go back to the tower. I can be impressed from anywhere, right? Maybe a ship. Okay, well. Whoa, what is going on there? Did you guys see that little rustle? And there's like really weird music playing. I don't know if this plays normally. I'm not talking about like the violin music. I'm talking about like there's some ominous rumblings. Uh, yeah, let's actually shut that off. All this celebrating makes me feel 17 again. Okay. So people were saying to talk to everybody as much as you can, but I don't think it has much to do with now. Now, we did drink, so maybe that's what's going on, but I don't think Corvo could get drunk after, like, what, one sip of whatever they were drinking? Look like scotch or something. Uh, so let's blink up here. Let's blink up here. And then let's go to our bed. And I guess end the game happily ever after, right? Okay, I knew there was something going on with the visuals. Looks like we've been poisoned, or at least knocked out. Which, of course, is not good. Not good at Samuel, all. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? Son of a bitch. It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you Even want. you, Samuel, come on. Job, Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. I should have said A2, Samuel. I really didn't think, like, I knew I was going to be betrayed. I mean, I just had a strong feeling, but I didn't think Samuel would be one of them. I I'm thought he was going to be something decent. terrible, Corvo. But I only gave you half the poison. Oh. They were watching me, and it was all I could think to do. I think you're strong enough to survive that. I'll put you on a raft, and then I've got to ship out myself before they find out I've got against their wishes. Snakes. They'll want to do the same to me as soon as I've outlived my uses. Hopefully, you'll wake up and find your way out of this cursed city. Okay, never mind. I was right. Like, I really had a strong feeling. There's no way Samuel's gonna be part of the Betrayers. Flooded District. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poisoned. Tibian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to doubt. Okay, so those assassins can blink too, right? So th does that mean that they were met with the uh, outsider? I really don't know. But there's that Dowd person referenced again that we saw uh, in the Lord Regent safe. He wrote a letter to the Lord Regent. But these guys wanted to kill me before. 
So I'm not sure where we stand now. And... They also assassinated the Empress, so they can't be good. Or can they? I don't know. I've never played this game before. I think we are in a cage right now, not just like an elevator. to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. No, the sword that I never use. Well, he would have killed he would have killed me already if he was going to. Okay. Looks like we're back in the uh, outsider's realm. Can we blink? Dark vision, bend time, the heart. Looks like we can blink. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dao. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. Okay, so I'm assuming that was a dream and we weren't, like, taking part of some astral projection or something. Or maybe, I, I don't know, astral projection is probably a better uh, reasoning for what that was. Escape from imprisonment. And we have loose bricks. And two rats. Looks like when it's not a swarm of rats, the rats don't want to attack. Can we jump up here and do anything? Doesn't look like it. So let's take this and, what, throw it at this? Looks like it. Oh, I'm s Oh, wow, that probably counted as a death, too. Uh, apparently people are telling me that when you kill rats, it counts as a death. If so, that's incredibly dumb. Looks like we've killed the other one. Oh well, it was inevitable. I'm not about to reload this. We still- we sh yeah, I was gonna say, we should still have blink, right? So, just blink out of here? Okay. Find a way into Doubt's territory. Looks like they've caught in uh, a guard too. Return to the Greaves Refinery. What did that say? Return to the Greaves Refinery where your gear was dropped. Um, yeah, we probably definitely want to do that, don't we? Just to get the sleep darts, if anything. So who do we have here? Something Jane, Isaac, do we know these people? Slackjaw we definitely know. Bounty Ledger. Excerpt from a Bounty Ledger. Kroonigan, eliminated, okay. Elizabeth abducted, delivered, no, Emily, not Elizabeth. Slackjaw, location unknown. Corvo in custody to be delivered alive. Alright. And we have an Assassin's Blade. Let's pick that up. We have Pyro's Spiritual Remedy. Sokolov's Health Elixir. Corvo's Bounty No Doubt. Finding Corvo in possession of that mask could have been an elaborate frame job, but now the newly minted Lord Regent Havelock is announcing to all the city that he has proof linking Corvo to the masked felon. That son of a bitch. 
So Havelock is the new uh, Lord Regent. The bounty is 30,000 coins, but if Corvo truly is the mass felon and is responsible for all the things the wanted posters accuse him of, I expect the bounty to, to uh, I expect the bounty to double. Because we have him alive, we should be able to barter for even more. Regarding Slackjaw, we watched him for a week, and when we were ready to make our move, he suddenly disappeared. Maybe he's left the city. Rule Fio. Bread, tin of brine, hagfish, or whatever. Report to Dowd. This is the musical device that the overseer has strapped to his chest. While it was functioning, we were unable to perform transversals or tetherings. I suggest we all get a good look at it. And it's one of those things that uh, stops our magic powers. Okay, so we have to Dowd's base 68 meters. We have to your gear 124. We are going to be grabbing our gear. Just because I, it's odd to me that it's even an optional objective. We're still not going to be killing anybody, even though we should be able to kill these people with a clear conscience, considering they were going to feed us to rats or just, I guess, leave us there. Are we supposed to go down or are we supposed to go up? Something tells me we don't want to be in this water regardless. Can we blink in the water? Yes. Oh, God. Get up. Get up. Get up. Okay. Now, was that because there's poison or is that because there's fishes in there? Yeah, there are fish in there. All right. Uh, let's jump over here. I don't think this is going to lead to anything. Does not look like it. Let's head back over here then. Up here. And this did lead up, right? So I guess it just wants us to go up. Yes. Oh. Alright. So, now we know that guy's there. Alright, so there's that guy. Let's try and... Uh, okay, there we go. Do this and... Hmm, I, I, you know what? You're gonna get knocked out because you should have not. Really? There's another guy? And we definitely don't have any sleep darts. And we're about to die, too. Alright. One more time. Alright, so this time, let's use dark vision. Okay, there was actually a guy right there. That's what I didn't see. So this is gonna be extremely hard, especially without any sleep darts. I mean, these have to count as kills, right? There's no way these don't. Is that guy never going to move? Okay, we might just have to, like, blink. Oh, there he goes. All right. Let's grab blink. How are we going to do this? <sighs> that guy looked right at me. Okay. So let's just try this, and if it doesn't work... Okay, it worked. Cool. All right, to your gear... 100 meters away. Why did, that, why did it play that weird sound? That's like someone getting alerted. Oh, you know what? We should use dark vision and see if this guy's coming over here. Actually, we should just jump into the water. I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's do it, though. And then let's quickly get on this thing. Okay, that works. Alright, I'm gonna assume... I'm going to assume that because this thing is optional, it's not gonna be too difficult to get over to our gear. Okay, let's go over here. We have a chain leading to who knows what. A bunch of dead bodies. That's kind of weird, isn't it? What in the world are those things? Okay, looks like... Oh, boy. Alright. Well, I didn't think piranha plants were going to be in this game. Um, so I guess maybe we want to jump on this. Climb up and then hopefully find some way to get over there. That's better than uh, trying to get past all those things. Go up, jump off, there we go. Okay, how are we going to do this? Can we get up on this roof? Yes, we can, sweet. It looks like we have a weeper over there. Let's get behind him. Knock him out. Okay, just heard something scream, but it might have been a bird, I don't know. Is this a Sokolov painting? The commutative, the commutative rats and the weeper. Indeed, it is a Sokolov painting. Looks like it gives us 300 coins, too, which is really nice. Okay, now can we jump on this thing? Looks like it might have to go, like, right here. And I see another weeper down there. So, actually, let's save the game. And let's blink over here, which is probably going to activate these things. Or no, we're like behind them. I don't know if they can fire at me. Alright, let's drop down here and take out this, what I'm assuming to be a weeper. Yep. Let's carry his body. 
put him in this trash can. That's what we need to do, yeah, because if we didn't put him in the trash can, those rats would eat him. Alright, these things are still firing at me, which is not good. Where's our gear? 35 meters away. Okay, time to use dark vision. Weeper over there, but I also see a rune, I think, so let's actually go over here. Was that a rune or was it just the fire? We're about to find out. Looks like it was just the fire. Wonderful. Okay, how are we going to put this body someplace where the rats aren't going to get to it? Up here, maybe? Yeah, that works, right? <laughs> That's like a horrible death. Luckily, the game is not going to think it's a death. All right. Don't touch our rats, okay? Moving forward. Good thing we had dark vision active because it looks like there's a couple of weepers back here too. Okay, um, this is gonna be annoying. Let's go, nope. Let's go over here. That didn't work. All right, I kinda don't wanna reload, but these guys are also gonna follow me. So let's just try and do this. Go to the Greaves refinery, yes. It doesn't really matter if these people like get alerted, right? I mean, as long as we don't kill anyone. Although something tells me alerting these guys does add to the chaos. Where? Where? Who just got alerted? Oh, the dudes followed me, right? Okay. Well, that's okay, because we're about to get far away from them. Let's grab Blink, and looks like... Man, for an optional objective, this is extremely difficult. Uh, can we go... Okay. How are we going to do this? Let's go over here. Can we go up there? Let me go up there, please. No, it never does. All right, let's just jump over here then. Looks like we won't need to maybe like backtrack all the way because Dowd's base is like right there. Okay, I didn't mean to fall down here. No! Back up here, back up here, back up here. There we go, all right. Go up here and... How in the world are we gonna get up there? Optional, return to the grease refinery where your gear was dropped. Optional find a way inside the refinery. All this just for some sleep darts, I guess. Oh well. We're already this far. Might as well keep continuing. I'm going to assume it's going to let me go up here. Yes. Let's jump over. And up here. Cool. And over here. Where is this optional objective telling me to go? I guess back here. I mean, we're not going to use the sword. We're going to use the sleep darts. What else is there? The pistol we're not going to use. So, yeah, I guess this is literally just for the sleep darts. But I'm also assuming that the game gives you another way to, like, get more. I don't think it's just going to not let you get these. Hard to say, but we should watch the streets. We'll see him from the rooftops. All right. If nothing else, we can cut him off at the market. He can't get through the rail station without the key. This one is resourceful. We'll find a way. Indeed, I will find a way. Although this way is going to be really hard. Oh, unless they all just blink out. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You made my job a lot easier. Still not easy, though. Optional, recover your gear, and it is 40 meters down that way. Refinery Foreman's Note. Tell your shift captain, captain to assign a maintenance berg for every shift. The conduits keep shorting out here. At least... Authorize us to put whale oil, a whale oil canister, in the backup receptacle next to the bridge to keep the power flow steady. We're Greaves Company, for crying out loud. You'd think we'd be able to afford an extra one of our own oil tanks. Or if you need me to make it simple for you, with no power, the bridge stays up. If the power stays up, we can't access it from... We can't access the refinery pit. No pit access. We don't do our jobs, plain and simple. So that's talking about this thing right here. I guess we want to find a whale oil thing if we want to activate that or not. Look at all of these goodies. The Greaves Whale House. So I guess Greaves is the company that uh, makes all the whale oil and all that sort of stuff. And we have one more thing of processed whale oil. Anything in here? No. So, it looks like we're going to have to drop all the way down there to be able to get our stuff. Can we blink? Figured it wasn't going to be that easy. So, let's see. This leads to a dead end, though. Are we supposed to go up? No, there has to be a way to go downwards from here. 
Okay, actually, that's the bridge right there. So it looks like we need to find ourselves some whale oil, put it in there, that'll lower the bridge, and then we can drop to our stuff. And we're going to do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.